we're now going to work with quick masks. So I'm going to close out of my properties panel and zoom in on the eyeglasses here. So what I'm going to do is show you the options for quick mask. You can set up your defaults here by double clicking on the quick mask icon. You have the quick mask options dialog box come up and this is the default for it. So we're going to stay with the default. You can increase your opacity. You can decrease your opacity. You could change the color of the mask and you may want to do that. For example, let's say you're working with an image that has a lot of red in it. You can click on this color window here and choose from the color picker a complementary color. You have those options. So we're going to stick with the defaults here. With black as my foreground color and with the quick mask option selected, I'm going to choose a brush that has a 100% hardness. And I'll start out with 15. Let's see what that looks like. So let me zoom in a little bit more. And that's a little large, so I'm going to decrease my brush size by hitting my left bracket key. So with my paintbrush selected, and black is my foreground color, and a brush size of, start with 9, let's see how that looks. 9 looks fine. Hard my layers here. I'm going to click and drag. All right, let me just do this real quick. What you've done here, or what you're essentially doing, is creating a selection using the painting tools. If I exit Quick Mask by clicking on the Quick Mask icon, you'll see that I've just created a selection using the paintbrush. I'm going to deselect, Control D, go back into Quick Mask by either clicking on this Quick Mask icon or hitting the letter Q. Not Control Q, not Command Q, but simply the letter Q. That toggles you in and out of Quick Mask. So Q, 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 Q. Okay? So with black as my foreground color, I'm going to click. And I'm going to hold down my shift key. All right, I want to basically create a straight line. Actually, this warrants a little discussion here. I'm going to go back into my quick mask mode and type in 100 for the opacity so you can see this better. If I click once, I'm creating a dot, for lack of a better word, OK? And if I hold down the shift key, I'm going to create a straight line between my initial click and the second click. With the shift key held down, I can click, 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 click. So you're essentially creating straight lines in between each click. So this is important to note. Let me just exit Quick Mask by hitting Q, Control T to deselect, go back into Quick Mask by hitting Q again. And I'm going to click here once. And I'm going to hold the top edge of my brush, that circle that I see that represents the brush size, and shift click. I'll then come down here and my shift key is held down. I'm going to click down here. And I'm looking at the edge of my circle now to determine where I want to go. So I'm going to shift click here, come down a little bit to follow the surface or the shape of the frame, and shift click over here. Okay, and there. Okay, so now I could fill in the gaps here manually. I'll now decrease my brush size by hitting my left bracket key. And now I'll fill in the rest of this by clicking and shift clicking along. So this is a method of essentially painting using the paintbrush without drawing with your cursor. Drawing or painting with your cursor to create freeform effects is like drawing with a rock. So this is a really interesting method and a very efficient method to get used to. So I'm just shift clicking here and here. So I basically filled in that area. I can actually come in here a little bit too. All right, so that will suffice for our needs. So the next step is to exit Quick Mask by hitting the letter Q. And I'm going to then work with changing the color of the lenses. So you do that you can go to Image Adjustments, Use Saturation, or use the shortcut and most of them are noted along the side here of Control U. So if the tutorial tells you to go through the drop down menus and you see what the shortcut is, just click away and use the shortcut. This will help you retain. So Control U and the indicate a color change of 70. So keep in mind that the U part of the U saturation dialog box represents color. The saturation represents the richness of color or lack of color. And the lightness and darkness is self-explanatory. So 
I'm going to actually type in that 70 that they indicated and it's an instant change of color and hit OK. So we've got our color change. I'll deselect and go to the next step.